Guys, I got a new idea for the flat hammock. So check this out. I don't know, I was up the other night, I was thinking about, you've seen the beds that guys make in the woods that have like a tripod on each end, a couple of boards going like this, and a tarp over them. And you can actually buy sleep mats now that uh, are like a sleeve. You put it on the two sticks, you spread them out. Well, I'm going to try to make a hammock like that. So check this out. I came out the other day and uh, chopped a couple of, of uh, gum trees down, found out just how hard those things really are. And I, I uh, after I got them chopped down, then I started uh, carving them out, uh, cut a couple of notches into them so that the boards will fit together like log cabin type. <clears throat> I'm going to secure those to, to each other to make a frame, and I'm going to tie that off and see if I can get my flat hammock out of a, uh, a regular 6x8 uh, tarp that I've got up here. And it's not a paper thin one, it's, it's actually a cloth tarp. So we're going to try to put that on there and see what happens. Okay, so the tarp that I'm going to be using to make this hammock out of is uh, an 8x6 tarp. So I've got my hatchet out here with the uh, increments marked out on it, and I know this is 15 inches from there to there. So I want about 4 feet, so we're going to say there's 15, there's 30, there's 35. So if we go to the top of the head, that's going to be right at about 4 feet right there close enough for this hacker. Just put a mark in that. Okay. Measure this one out. About right there. And now we'll cut those with the saw. Okay, next thing I want to do is make a couple of notches in here. And if it's hanging by string, it'll naturally fall to that spot. So I want to put these notches on what would be the top. That right there. Right there. Maybe a little bit bigger. Because those larger ones that I just cut or what's gonna go in this notch right here. Okay, so we got our we got our cross braces cut here, and I know those are about four feet long, and since the tarp I'm using is going to be eight feet, I'm going to take these longer ones and cut those at about nine feet. Okay, so I'm tying up mule tape here. Uh, this is going to be at the at the ends, and then I use paracord to actually tie it to the mule tape that's tied to the tree. I trust this a lot more than I trust the paracord when it comes to supporting weight. Okay, 
Okay, so for now, put that on there, and then we'll end up running that down to the hammock. All right, so the first thing I want to do here is, uh, there's the notches we cut out. I'm going to match that up with notches on this, being the cross piece in the main brace member there. And hopefully those will lock together like that. This is wanting to turn over on me. Dang it. I was hoping it would sit there. And the paracord that I'm using here actually came off of a parachute. I don't know if it's any stronger than what you buy at the store or not, but that's what I'm using for the ends down here. Okay, we got a loop in this end. Take that under start doing some wraps. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get these other four corners tied up, and we'll go from there. All right, show you what we got on both ends here. I've wrapped that around a couple of times. One rope went over to the other side. I wrapped it around a couple of times, and then I came back over here, and I've got it tied around right there several times. All it took was a simple knot to tie it off. Same thing on the other end. This part in the middle is what I'm going to attach the the mule tape to. And we gotta come up with a way to keep it from sliding side to side. Okay, so what I got going on here is I have turned the frame over so uh, the top is gonna be underneath that. I'm gonna pull this through. I'm gonna use this to tie it on with. And you can see this is a eight foot canvas. I made the frame about nine and a half feet long. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this piece of paracord and try to weave it through the holes on this tarp. Tie this off. Okay, I'll get this flipped over. Make sure it's tight.
Okay, we had a couple changes of plans, but I want to show you what I ended up with here. I took the mule tape off the tree, I put a loop in each end of it, and then you find the middle of it right there. Take that around the tree and double it back on itself like that. Okay, and I've already got the other side hooked up. This is not real easy to do by yourself, but then you've got these two lines here and just hook them onto the cross brace of the hammock. There's one. Be a lot easier with two people. And there's two. Okay, so I got that on there. Also, uh, tightened up the tarp a little bit because it was loose. And you can see it's not laying straight. I've got more weight on this side because I got a bigger stick over here. So it's not laying as straight as I'd like it to. But another thing I want to show you right here is after I connected these up, I found it better to go ahead and wrap around this one or two times and then run it back over there and wrap it around. That helps these to stay locked in a little bit better because they did come loose. So now here's the test. Let's see if I fall and bust my butt. Are so good. And you know what? The fact that it's unlevel down there doesn't matter. The canvas contours to my body. I'm going to call that a success. All right, thank you guys for watching here at Bullhorn Beach. I think this is a success with the Flat hammock. I'm very happy with this. It takes less effort to build than uh, the ones that have the, the beds that have the tripods at the end, but it's the same concept. Both of them work. This one just takes less sticks to make it work. As long as you got cordage, you're good. Come back next week. I try to do a video every week if I can, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the button down there. I'd appreciate it. Till then, guys, get out in the woods, man.